something like this. I knew something like this had happened, but I didn't know exactly what. And Raja introduced me to a friend of his who is a historian who had something like 500 um, eyewitness, you know, or participant accounts uh, and from that forced march. And so um, when you write something like this, and especially when something like me writes it, you have to get it right. And um, so whereas a lot of it I could do um, from Sheffield, there were particular things that I could only do by going there. And also because I knew in a way, or I expected, that I would be criticised for writing this and people would say, well, what do you know about it? And so, in a way, I, I wanted to, to be sure that I got it right. And so this was one of the stories that, that, that I heard. Um, and also, um, which Roger helped me very much with, the plants, the flowers, the terrain, again, um, I, I wanted to see it, I wanted to feel it under my own feet. Um, we stayed in touch. And one of the, the strange things that happened was that um, Raj and I discovered that we really like walking. We both like walking in the hills. And I live in the Peak District, so I invited Raj to come and visit. And um, I took Raj on our Freedom Walk, which is the walk um, on to Kinder Scout, the Mass Press Bus by the Ramblers in. I'm, I'm sure I used to know the date, but I've forgotten it now, sometime in the 19th century anyway. And um, we, had, we had a wonderful walk together during which we um, talked about the some similarities and some differences really um, about walking and freedom and the, the you know the importance of contemplation and the pamphlet that you've got here is an account of that walk um i don't know Raja, over to you now <laughs> well i i want to say that uh, it's very important to, to note that this is this incident is only one short small part of the book because the book is uh, and it and it, it has so many other characters who are also involved in one way or another, or, or who also have positions on, on the conflict. That's and, true, yes. And, and so you, you, you get a, a wider scope and a better sense of the situation. But then you have these characters who, uh, whose lives are in London, of course. And, uh, and you have Marina sort of projecting her goodwill and uh, good nature into uh, these characters who are uh, Jewish and, and Palestinian living in London, coming together under uh, strange coincidences, a series of coincidences, and in a sense making peace. And yes, it is about peace, but it's an uneasy peace because um, they, they, they find peace in London because they have to, and because, because they find um, what it is that they have in common as human beings, and they're brought together by B&Q and DIY and football and those kind of ordinary, very ordinary things that actually bind us all together as human beings. Um, but, but in fact, well, when I started writing this book, I got very depressed at one point because I thought, gosh, you know, um, I'm going to have to find a solution to this conflict, which is, you know, I was just realising was, was actually not going to happen. You know, what's the right answer? What, what is the way forward? But actually, I guess what I learned, what I learned also from, from talking to Rajan, and from meeting the people I, I met, is that the, the way forward, is, it's partly about politics, but it's partly about people actually seeing the human in each other, and, you know, which is the most important thing to do. And in a way, for me, making that journey was, um, was extraordinary because I could see the human, um, certainly you know, with, with, with the Jewish friends I, I have and have had, and the terrible stories that they've told, um, and I could see the, 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 the human in, in the Palestinians, but the terrible things that they couldn't see it in each other. And the worst thing of all was, you know, was that terrible separation wall. So there you are, you have people on, on both sides with very intense and very common human experiences who aren't in, in the position of actually seeing the humanity in each other. And that, that for me, and I, that isn't reflected in the book, but it is reflected very much in our um, walk, um, because we talked a lot about the separation wall and the, the I, I guess what I realised is that because of the wall, um, the, the possibility of, of, a, of a kind of lasting peace is very difficult because people don't actually see, um, you, you know, the, the, the Palestinians cannot but see the Israelis as an oppressive enemy and the Israelis cannot but see the Palestinians as kind of difficult, awkward, potential killers. And so they're, they're sort of stuck in this situation. Um, which is which is terrible for both of them actually. Or that you know, it's it's terrible for the Palestinians, but in a way, it's also terrible for the Israelis because, you know, they've created a country which actually nobody really wants to live in. 
Yes, well, I, I think uh, where your book helps is it, it has characters who, to whom Israel means or has meant something and therefore answers so many questions mm. that people might have. And, and that is very important. Where I disagree with you is, is on the question of perception. Yes, of course, the, the two are, are enemies and mm. there are many things they cannot see about each other. But I don't think I would accept a reduction of the problem as one of uh, perception. In other words, uh, there have been so many attempts, which are absolutely futile, I mm. think, where one of them is Seeds for Peace, where uh, some, there's a lot of money for these things, and, and they bring uh, youngsters from both sides and uh, take them to Norwegian forests or mm. American camps, uh, uh, summer camps, and make them uh, live together. And of course, they live together and uh, they, they're happy. Uh, but uh, so what? Big deal. Then they go back, and uh, one is oppressed by the other, and uh, like, and and uh, uh, the, the problem, uh, uh, if if there was a political, a fair political solution, and then we worked on getting relations between the two sides mm -hmm. to be better, fine. But there is, there are facts. The, the, the fact is, there is a the, an occupation. You cannot have peace with occupation. The occupation has to end. Uh, before people can change their perception of each other. So there are objective things.